Hi guys, I'm John Pham, and today we're going to be talking about ketamine. If you need to know the dosages of the drug, please refer to the end of the video. Otherwise, let's get started. So ketamine is structurally similar to the psychotropic drug fencyclidine, but with significantly less psychotropic effects. Ketamine causes loss of consciousness, amnesia, and has analgesic properties. Ketamine may be administered through several routes, including IV, IO, IM, PO, PR, and intranasal, and has a favorable physiologic profile, making it a very versatile drug. Ketamine may be used alongside other general anesthetics during uh, induction to minimize hemodynamic changes, uh, during surgery to reduce opioid use and side effects, and for procedural sedation outside of the OR, such as in the emergency room. It can be especially useful in the pediatric population when IV access is unattainable. Ketamine is also used in the clinical setting uh, for patients with chronic pain and resistant depression. So how does ketamine work? Ketamine is an aryl cyclohexamine with, um, composed of two optical isomers, also known as enantiomers. The S enantiomer is three times more potent than the R enantiomer. Ketamine functions as a non-competitive antagonist of the NMDA receptor in the thalamus and limbic system, causing a cataplectic state and unconsciousness. Ketamine exerts its analgesic effects by binding the mu receptors. Uh, ketamine is water soluble, but in the bloodstream becomes lipophilic and rapidly re redistributes into the central nervous system and the peripheral tissues. The onset of action for ketamine is 30 seconds when administered IV. The duration of action is anywhere from 5 to 15 minutes and is also determined uh, by redistribution. The, di the distribution half-life is 3 minutes and the elimination half-life is 2 hours. Ketamine is metabolized by the liver into uh, the active metabolite norketamine, which is one-third as potent as ketamine and excreted in the urine. All right, let's talk about the major physiologic effects. So cerebral blood flow is increased due to an increase in mean arterial pressure. Cerebral metabolic rate is also increased. An increase in both the cerebral blood flow and cerebral metabolic rate results in an increase in intracranial pressure. Ketamine causes uh, myocardial depression and vascular smooth muscle relaxation. However, ketamine also causes the release of uh, catecholamines, and the overall effect is an increase in systemic vascular resistance and blood pressure. Um, heart rate, cardiac output, cardiac contractility, myocardial blood flow, and myocardial oxygen consumption also increase as well. In regards to the respiratory system, respiratory drive remains unchanged. Airway reflexes also remain unchanged. Ketamine causes bronchodilation and is considered safe in patients with reactive airway disease. A major concern uh, for ketamine is the dysphoria, hallucination, and possibly postoperative delirium that patients may experience. These psychotropic effects uh, may be attenuated by administration of benzodiazepines like midazolam. Related to this is also the potential for abuse. Ketamine causes an increase in intraocular pressure and also an increase in muscle tone and should generally be avoided in cases where such changes may be problematic. Ketamine causes an increase in oral secretions and carries a risk for nausea and vomiting as well. That's all I've got for today. If you guys like this video, be sure to check out our other videos. Thanks for watching and have an awesome day.